I mean, I think it, it even gives me even more motivation because I already know that you know I'm on the team, and I've been to London uh, to do a test swim there. We went in August. You know, I can kind of visualize that venue and, and being in that race and, and being in that moment. So that's um, and, and it's exciting. So you know, we have a lot to look forward to. We have a lot of really hard work to do uh, between now and then, and looking forward to it. They invited us to come uh, do a test 10K swim in the middle of August uh, last year, and it was nice. It's going to be a really exciting venue for spectating because people will be able to line all around uh, the course, which is actually pretty close to the perimeter of the of the body of water. So it'll be great for people to watch, and you know it's exciting to swim too. It's a little bit different. It's it's six six loops around the course to make up the 10K. I mean, the most important thing is just to be fit, you know, to be to be able to, you know, go as hard as you can for two hours, basically. So, and, you know, you can get all the fitness you need from the pool. Obviously, there are certain open water specific skills that you need to have and that you need to practice, uh, you know, every now and then at least, not every day. But, um, you know, that, you know, I get that in the summers. I'm a uh, very strong believer in the best way to get better at swimming 10Ks is to go swim 10Ks. I mean, um, there are so many things that, I mean, yeah, you can visualize, yeah, you can study, you know, race footage or whatever, but, you know, that only, um, there's nothing like being in the moment and having to make those decisions. I feel like I could go faster than a mile right now, and I'd, I would be pretty happy if I could, if I could final in the 1500, I'd be pretty stoked with that.